So let's pretend I'm a juggler up here and I got 10 tennis balls in my hands and I'm juggling away and I can handle 10 tennis balls. You know what the tennis balls are? Stress. I can, your body can handle a bunch of stress. But if I gave each and every one of you another tennis ball and I say one at a time, what I want you to do is lob me another tennis ball. I'll add it to the 10 tennis balls I'm already doing. Now there's 50 people in the room. You're going to agree with me. At some point in time, no matter how good of a juggler I am, there's going to be one more person that tosses me a ball. I'm juggling 15 tennis ball. The 16th person tosses me another ball, and I can't quite catch it. Right? So let me ask you a question. If I can't quite catch that 16th ball, do I just drop number 16, or do I drop everything? Which one? I drop everything, right? Right? That, my friends, is called allostatic load, the point at which your body can no longer st handle stress, can no longer adapt. Do you understand me? If your body's juggling tennis balls, it is fighting for health. When the body can't juggle tennis balls anymore, it is going into disease and illness. Do you understand me? People say to me all the time, well, John, are you basically saying the subluxation you just cause all disease? No. You know what I am telling you? It could be that 16th tennis ball. It could be that one last stressor, that stress, bad information to the brain that the brain says, I can't handle anymore. So it starts to break down. That's when symptoms come. That's when, every, see, when people come into your office, you ever have patients walk into your office? They're like, oh, haven't been feeling one. You're like, how long has this been going on for? Mm, two or three months. Anything happened two or three months ago that may have started this? No, it just came. They're lying to you. Do you know that they're lying to you? Because if they can't tell you what actually started it, so someone didn't say, oh, I got hit with a baseball bat two months ago. Okay, I understand the impact now, so I understand where it started. If someone says, I don't know how it started, they're telling you their body's been fighting this and juggling tennis balls for months and perhaps years before they walked into your office. Why is this important? Because you have to explain that to them. Because in your report of findings, they're going to look at you and you're going to say, okay, this is what I say. I want to have chiropractic care for you. We're going to see you two or three times a week for the next 12 weeks. We'll do a review. They're going to say, oh my God, 12 weeks. I thought it all started a couple of days ago when I picked up my coffee cup. How many patients walk in like that, right? They walk into your office, they're like, doc, I was perfect. Then I picked up my cup of coffee and I threw my back out. You guys ever hear this? Is it physiologically possible to pick up a five ounce cup of coffee and throw your back out. Is that possible? Not physiologically possible, unless what? I have been fighting and fighting and fighting and this cup of coffee was that last piece that pushed me over the edge. You with me on this? But if I don't explain it to the patient, what are they gonna think? If I picked up this cup of coffee yesterday, when do I think the problem started? I, th I think it started, yeah, I was perfect beforehand. Unless we explain it to them, right? 